All right, friends. This might not go up on patch day, but it's patch day. Uh, I got a spare minute to record another video. I did dwarves a little earlier. That was fun. Uh, got a little hairy, but the opponent basically rage quit. So we're going to now try a Siri deck that feels super weird. Uh, we're going for Inspired Zeal here with a bunch of order cards down low and then a whole bunch of just like the value cards up high. I don't, I don't really want to describe it. We're just going to go try it out. Uh, Siri Nova. The, Donamir is probably the only thing that I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know that we need that, but protecting Queen Meave probably makes sense. Oh, you know what this deck is missing now. Oh, it needs these guys. It needs PFIs. I'll take them over out right of its Royal Guards. So they don't have an order, but they are so good with Meave. Um... I think we got to bring them. We just need a little bit more board swarm. Uh, everything else, Rivian Pikeman is the only other like weird inclusion that I have. We're not really don't really care about reducing cooldowns of anything. Uh, so maybe we don't want them actually. Now I'm like rethinking my whole strategy as I'm talking, which is never a thing you want to be doing. Um, we'll go for drummers instead. I think drummers are probably a better option. Lance Connects are also pretty good. Probably a little better than Pikeman. But I think Drummer is the way to go. Well, actually, let's go for Ballista. Ballista and Drummer are kind of the same, except that Ballista removes something and it gets an armor, so it's kind of weird. All right, um, cool. Plus it gives us like another order for the... I did have Ildico in here originally. I stripped her out. I don't know. Kind of torn. Um, we gotta do spawn units. Uh, and I'm trying to get the stupid roses. Um, and I am currently working on trying to get all of these leader abilities to 100. Right now we're at 58 with Inspired Zeal. So let's hope this gets us there. Probably should have played it more like two seasons ago, but crap happens. Um, let's go for Shoopmeister. Oh, I must have missed getting back trinkets. I do hate all of these, most of these boards, though, if I'm being honest. Mahakam! I should have picked that for my for my dwarf one, huh? Dwarfs. Dwarf. Just realized it was on mute this whole time. Look at the beautiful sound effects. Okay, so basic idea here is basically to just play more cards than the opponent does. I don't, and that get massive carryover off Siri. Uh, too bad Double Cross got a super lackluster nerf. All right, Knickers and Roach go back in. Didn't even really give me a lot of options on that one. I wish that we had like a Raynard on this. Now if I'm ever gonna get Siri, I actually like to have her on red coin because you can basically, it's like a gauntlet toss. Say, hey, deal with this. So Muta Generator also needs to go back into the deck. So I'm kind of getting hosed here in terms of 
Uh, let's uh, let's milk out all the removal early here. A little surprising. Okay. Interesting. She's like good, but weird. Very weird. Uh, round control is basically the name of the game with this deck, though. We've got Siri Nova, Vandegrift, and Siri. So we basically can just keep playing to our heart at the same time. I don't really want to do Vernon Roach yet. I don't really want to spend a leader charge on Dun Banner. So let's drop Vandegrift. To get Roach. Oh, and Niggers! I, part of me wonders if they hard code Niggers to come out when Roach does. Because I feel like they always come out in close succession of one another. But in a card up situation like this where I can just play Siri and say, look, you can either give me this round or you can lose. Purify. I might go for the poison. Oh, he goes for Purify. It's fine. So now we're ahead. He has to go down to four cards. So he's got to try to carry the round with a seven point play. Yeah, now he loses down a card. So yes, the Siri gets you an interesting opportunity, but now you're down a card on loss. So she will, she will equal out the next round if you can beat me. Otherwise, you got to go down two cards here. Not good. You don't want to do that. And you have to play the Siri as one of your cards, so it's just a little strange. Okay, there's me with PFIs. It's pretty good. Muta Generator's got to go back. I just want something to boost the Dun Banner. And Royal Decree is also a brick, typically, so... Um... Okay, this is extremely poorly executed, by the way. So now you're down a card. You didn't play Siri, so you don't get her back. You really want to play her, so you get her back in hand. That's where you get the card advantage from. So I don't understand it. Okay, if we draw into Golden Necker, Decree goes back. If we don't... I might keep it. Although at this point, it's getting me Siri Nova, which is good, but not great. Yes! 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 Okay. Now this deck, we're into a long card round here, and we're, we should, emphasis on should, be able to play all of the cards. We're just going to go for uh, Lyrian Arbalist to start. Then we'll play Raynard, then we'll get down Dun Banner. We'll use a leader charge on Dun Banner if we have to. I think we'll play Donamir next. Uh, opponent played their Purify. Golden Necker looks juicy in the hand. Yep, especially good now. Okay, we'll wait till there's a poison and then we will and then we'll defend it. I want to force the poison out first. That way we are 
reducing the number of poisons we take here. Yep, here it comes. It's going to come down onto Raynard. So now we force triple poisons. Since the Purify was already used, there's usually not a second Purify. Uh, he's going to be annoying, but not the end of my life. The shield makes it so that he uh, had two statuses, defender as well, so super obnoxious, but what are you going to do? Okay, she needs to start ticking here. He's just going to lock her though, so let's get down done banners before it becomes a problem. Oh, yuck. Philippe really ruined ruined the game, in my opinion. Just like, added so much toxicity onto a single card. Just gives him so much reach. So much reach. Okay, now we're ready for... Golden Necker, though. It's annoying that it goes in that order. Okay, I can't remember. I think I want it on. Oh, I can't remember what Muta Generator does. <laughs> it's not letting me click on it. Ah. Uh... Yeah, okay, we want to go all melees now. And I have over thinned the deck, so we're going to have to go back and tweak that a little bit. It sucks. I think Roach and Knickers are just too weird in this. It's gotta be Meave. He doesn't have anywhere to... Uh, Petris. Petris totally does. Alright. Since he's inspired, I get to choose. Otherwise, it's just the... Oh no, you get to choose it off the order. The Inspired boosts it every turn. So we just want to wait for Vernon until he's boosted it significantly. Dude, you want Vernon, man. Guess he forgot what Veil does? She can go next turn. Yeah, I think we're going to strip out Roach and Knickers and go for Visigard. I think we can easily get the multi-boost. It's such an obnoxious card. Haha, -ha, she got it. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm digging the meta, meta generator though. Note that it's five random units. So it does, uh, it does, you need like the bodies on the board. The bodies on the board. Get the bodies on the board. Like, there needs to be with Heat Wave to be like, have no poisons, locks, something. Like, you can have Heat Wave if you don't have trash garbage like Philippe in your deck. I don't know. 
not fun. Okay, yeah, we just got a we got a bunch of tweaks to make here, so we'll go make them. Um, I guess with Blue Stripe Scouts we could have copied something and then just get gotten another copy of it, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, quick change and then I gotta get back to work. Had like a quick momentary pause in my day. Um, I think n go Roach, Knickers, and then we're gonna go for Visigato and Visigard. Visigato is eight, right? Am I remembering incorrectly? Yeah, okay, we're good. Well, uh, like poison, poison lock ball is probably like, the worst matchup I could conceive for this deck, other than like a super greed deck. But even with super greed, we put we have we have some reasonable greed with the deck, uh, and a lot of point output. So who knows? Pumped with muted generator, it feels like it's it's doing well. Uh, I'm terrified of Skellige this season. I think Skellige is gonna just run run up the tally and make us all regret having spoken ill of it in the past. Um, let's put the blue stripe scout back. A bunch of slow and stupid engines. Now you got me raging. Might just start doing dandelion straight away. Actually, we'll get the Lyrian Arbalist down, and then we'll just start doing dandelion. He's gonna do two here and just kill this with uh, with uh, Erbos. Yep. That's why we don't name our Lyrian Arbalists. Then you get attached. Twenty six points in two plays with a double thin. I just I don't understand. don't understand uh, I don't understand period they just have killed you kill so many archetypes when you give so much tempo to a certain archetype yeah other archetypes have better greed and stuff but the round control of oppressive Skellige is so much that it's hard to compete with that um, let's just start doing Ballista here All right, now we can just ping that off. Thank you for visiting. And we will boost Visigato. I'm worried that this deck isn't gonna thin enough. Uh, but Siri gives us a lot of flexibility here until we get down to five cards, so no stress. Uh, we need the other leader. We need one leader charge for these guys, and preferably for Meave as well. This is kind of a poor play in my opinion, because now you have tempoed so much. 
don't really know what to do with yourself. I need the thin. There's just no getting around it, really. So, if they pass, we just play the Siri, we get her back. If we need to. And that's not gonna happen, though. Oh, jeez. Wow. It's cool to see that in action. Uh, let's spread the love around just a little bit here. Let's give it to Meeve. I don't think that she gets the armor. She does not while she's in the deck. Which is a little annoying because it just says whenever this unit receives a boost, gain one armor. And that shouldn't necessarily need to be on the board. So, the, the good part about Siri 2 here, so I, yes, we're probably going to lose on evens here, but I get her back, so I'm no longer losing on evens. But it also, <laughs> it also in the event that they really want to like secure the round, forces them to, to keep playing deeper into a round than they want to keep playing into. Siri has kind of a weird effect that way. So, I don't know. Do with that what you will. These are good. Let's put PFIs back. Let's put that back. Just looking for Golden Necker. Like, I wish that there was a way. You know the way that we probably will need to play this deck is Nilfgaard. I don't want to, but John Cal Jean Calvite. No, he's like 12, huh? Can't do Calvite. Yeah, Necker is just weird. Just a weird card. It's cool. Super fun tempo when you get it. Just kind of slow and clunky otherwise. Like, and I can't do Vernon until I have it because I don't want it to play like the Royal Decree on the Muted Generator. And yes, I could try to add more artifacts to the deck. But there aren't a ton that synergize with this archetype very well. All right. Cool. That's absolutely terrible. That is the crappiest thing I've ever seen. And that is sad. Forfeit. Yep. <laughs> and that is why it is going to be a little bit temperamental. Uh, yeah, you got to you got to plan that right. You can't just, uh, you gotta, you gotta plan out what cards you have in your deck. So, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, though. Is this a total, uh, you know, nut job of a deck, or do you think this one is spot on? I look forward to hearing what you think. Until next time, good luck out there, have some fun, keep on gwenting. Bye for now.